The following satellite transmission, copyrighted by the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, is available for live broadcast in 10 seconds or for taping and rebroadcast by any AM, FM, shortwave, cable, or video outlet globally. This is a WBN Worldwide Broadcasting Network production. This is Vern Benham Grimsley with the Spiritual Renaissance Broadcast. Just the other day, a good friend of mine said to me on the telephone, when things go well, they go smoothly. But when things get bad, they get rough. Now that says it all, or at least part of it. But human life is a perpetual combination of just such things, good and bad, rough and smooth, in varying degrees and proportions. And the single greatest power available for the living of your human life is the power of living faith in the living God. For spiritual things are the supreme realities of this universe, and spiritual things can transform your life. The great scientist Sir Isaac Newton in 1686 stated in his first law of motion that matter will always either remain at rest or will move with constant velocity in a straight line unless acted upon by some force. There is a corresponding spiritual principle to that, that most human beings will either remain spiritually unmoved or remain headed in their present direction, even if it's a wrong direction, unless acted upon by some higher force. But consider these truth, beauty and goodness, faith, hope and love, these are such higher forces. These can change your state of mind, your state of being. Truth, beauty, and goodness, faith, and hope, and love. And these are things of God. God loves you, and that love of God can transform your life from the inside out. Consider for a moment, each evening when the sun goes down, when it disappears behind the horizon on the black silhouette of the curvature of the earth, and the sky is emblazoned with the colors of a rainless rainbow of reds and yellows and blues across the heavens. As the earth grows darker, the sky glows all the more brightly with light. And so it will be with the passing years of your human life. As you come to the twilight of your days, the things of this world will begin to fade and dim in their importance, while the realities of heaven will shine ever more brightly with each passing moment. Just as at sundown the earth grows darker while the sky grows brighter and more beautiful with the spectacular spectrum of sunset. Thus it is, thus it ever shall be that the spiritual transcends the material just as light dominates darkness. And the spiritual component of your life, the fragment of God which indwells your mind, can control your life and your future your plans and your purposes, and can disclose to you the spiritual reason you are alive and grant to your life a new anointing of peace and joy and love and blessing. Said Jesus, the kingdom of God is within you. The spirit in man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the inmost parts. It is written in Proverbs. Think of it. Something of God's very being indwells your mind. And this is how you were really born to live as a son or daughter of God, seeking daily and hourly to exalt and exemplify the will of God in your life, simply by loving God and loving others. There is no better way to live than that. This is the ultimate meaning of life, to live in love for God and other human beings. That is the real thrill of human existence. You will never be fully satisfied unless and until you find God and aspire above all other things to do God's will in service. In that is the ultimate meaning of life, to live in love for God and other human beings. The meaning of love is the desiring of good for others. And to live in love for God and others is the real thrill of life, the fulfillment of human existence. God loves you as if you were the only human being in all this universe of universes. That's how God loves you. God's care and concern are infinite for you. You are a child of God. There is nothing else which can make life make sense, really, for you, other than this spiritual perspective of the finding and knowing of God. God loves you and will make of your life a joy and an inspiration 
if you will seek for God's will above all other things in your life. There is no higher meaning to life than the meaning of finding the will of God. God wills good for you and has a plan for this planet and a purpose for your life. May you find it and begin to do it with all your heart and soul. God will make of you the person you really want to be if you will give yourself wholeheartedly to God and hold absolutely nothing back and seek the purposes of God above all other things in your life, there is nothing higher than the seeking and finding of God and the will of God. It is the supreme delight of life, and you can find it if you will seek. Seek, said the Master, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. Ask, and you will receive. Jesus said, seek, and you will find, but he didn't say when. Some paths are slow in the climbing. You will not achieve perfection in a day, but you can find and know your God, your universal Father, your friend, your Creator, and you can find joy unspeakable and peace profound and a powerful purpose for your life, the thrilling will of God who has a plan for this planet and a reason for your existence. Hence the line in the famous Lord's Prayer, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. You are praying for God's will in your life, to align and synchronize your mind and your thinking with the mind and thinking of God, God's great cosmic plans and purposes, which will begin to unfold in your life day by day, hour by hour, as you seek above all things the will of God and pray for that. When you pray, you do not change God. You are letting God change you. We mere mortals can never improve on perfection but you can let perfection improve on you. That is, you can choose to let the all-perfect God of this universe transform your life from the inside by His Spirit indwelling your mind. That you begin to live a more joyous, loving, exuberant, peaceful, powerful life. Powerful in the sense of knowing who you are, why you're here, where did you come from, where are you going. The ancient Greek philosopher Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. And if at times you have felt your life not to be worth living, is it that you have not examined why you're here, what your real spiritual reason is in being alive? It's to live as a son or daughter of God, living in love for God and love for humanity. My old grandfather used to say the trouble with a lot of people is they're always wishing for something they haven't got. On the other hand, what else is there to wish for other than wishing for something they haven't got? But wishing for something is not the best way to achieve something. A wish is an inactive longing, but desire is an active longing. Jesus said prayer is desiring the will and wisdom of God. He said, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them. But never pray for what you're not willing to work for. Because the answer to your prayer for something is usually the opportunity to work for that something. And above all, seek the will and wisdom of God, God's purpose for your life, which is the most joyous and wonderful way you can possibly live your life. There is a challenge in real spiritual growth. Why does a mountain climber climb a mountain? Merely to escape from the valley or to stand on the mountaintop. Clearly, there is a high aspiration in climbing. And so you, as a son or daughter of God, will be loyal to supreme values, not merely to escape from evil, but out of love for good, the love of God, and the seeking of lofty loyalties for human life, the very will and wisdom of God. God has marvelous things for you, if you will only dare to seek them said Jesus, it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 152 times in the New Testament, in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus calls God by the name Father. But he didn't just call God my Father, that is Jesus' Father. He called God your Father again and again and again, speaking to crowds of people, giving a discourse or a sermon, preaching. He called God your Father and to know that your Father God loves you and has good things for you can transform your life from the inside out. And remember, only transformed individuals can create a transformed world. Only better men and women can fashion a better society. Only advanced citizens can architect a spiritually advanced civilization. 
And you, if you will, can be one of those transformed people. Jesus said, blessed are you or happy are you when you hunger and thirst after righteousness, for you shall be filled, fulfilled, filled full of the good things of God in your life, truth and beauty and goodness and love. And there is dawning upon this planet a spiritual renaissance, which one day shall make more differences in this world and the way this world is than any war which has ever been waged, any battle which has ever been fought, any governmental, political, social, or economic upheaval in all of human history. And you, if you will, may be part of this dawning spiritual renaissance. If you will give your life to the God who gave you your life in the first place and discover the transformative power of God's Spirit indwelling your mind. You are a son or daughter of the living God. The kingdom of God is within you. And you can discover a new zest, a new reason for being alive, a new satisfaction, a new peace within your heart and soul, living as the son or daughter of God you were born to be. For free literature on the spiritual life, on these very things I've been discussing on this Spiritual Renaissance broadcast, write to us at the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, Box 3080, Oakhurst, California, 93644, United States of America. Write for all of this. And we have one called On Campus, Questions University Students Ask, dealing with the tough sort of philosophic intellectual questions which college and university students ask about God, about the meaning of life, about the truth of spiritual teaching. Write for this literature, no cost, no charge, no obligation, when you write to us at the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, where we believe God is the perfect and loving spiritual father of all, that we can experience this life-transforming truth through the decisions and actions of our personal faith, that all the peoples of this planet our brothers and sisters in the Father's great spiritual family, that God has given an actual fragment of himself to live and work within each one of us, that the Father has a will which is the greatest good for our lives, and if we choose to seek God's will, there then lies before us an eternal adventure of striving to attain the supreme values of truth and beauty and goodness. The ultimate goal of existence is to reach for the very perfection of the Heavenly Father. Said Jesus, be you perfect even as your Father in heaven is perfect. But write to us, wherever in the world you're hearing us, over five continents and 70 foreign countries where this worldwide broadcast is being heard, do write to us at the Spiritual Renaissance Institute, Box 3080, Oakhurst, California, 93644, United States of America. This is a non-sectarian, non-profit program proclaiming the dawning spiritual renaissance, the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, the worldwide family of God. And so for now, this is Vern Benham Grimsley saying, May God's will be done by you. Good day.